Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video, and this time will be another styling tutorial. And it's been quite a while since I had my last tutorial, and which was my first tutorial, how to style a regular executive contour, my go-to contour, but this time we'll be looking at another variation, and this one is Cary Grant's variation, which as you look in the original photos, it's very much more flat than your average contour. However, his waviness actually brought life to his contour, even though it was flat. And his sides, just like most vintage contours, and unlike most contours nowadays, are slick to the back. So, obviously, I do not have Cary Grant's hair. I don't have wavy hairs, so this tutorial may not be the most accurate representation of it, but I did what I can to achieve the best waviness as possible. As you see over here, my hair is mostly straight, but using some products I use, I attempted to make it a little bit wavy and I had that effect, desired effect achieved. So this video will now show you how to achieve a side part that looks very similar to Cary Grant's and if you're willing to go farther, how to achieve those waves that Cary Grant had, or at least almost achieve it. Okay, let's start styling. I know that right now I have some product in my hair already because um, it's nighttime already. That means that I was out for the day and I put some pomade in, obviously. But for the sake of this video, I'll show you how I add in the products to my hair. So let's start with a pre-styler and this step is really, really necessary, especially if you have my hair type, which is um, just relatively springy Asian hair. But if you have finer Asian hair, this method just works absolutely perfect. So the question is, is it possible to have slick back sides like Cary Grant, even if you have short Asian hair? Notice that I have fine hair, so I don't know how this method, this method will work for thicker hair, but for finer Asian hair, this method will work wonders for you. So yes, it is possible. I did not think it was possible at first until I found my secret weapon, which I use as a pre-styler and right over here, boom, is Vaseline hair tonic. So, get two drops of this stuff at first. That's a little too much. That's probably a three drops or something. And then apply it to the top of your hair. Make sure your hair is damp because it just goes in the best when your hair is damp. And add two more drops for your back and sides. Rub them in. And you really do want to focus on your sides because you want to slick them back. The purpose of using a tonic is to soften your hair, making it easier to manage. So it actually, with a tonic, you can do stuff that you weren't able to without it. Like, I'm able to do a full slick back if I use some tonic and a pomade as a combo. Back when I had, um, even when my hair is much longer, without a tonic, I was never able to do a full slick back because I had splits, like cowlicks and, and all. And now my hair is too short to do a slick back. Not only do I have cowlicks and a tonic with a pomade can manage a slick back for me even at this length. So really, get a tonic, it works wonders. Then slick your hair back with all the tonic to distribute it evenly. Now, now that you have the um, tonic evenly distributing your hair, it's time to get your first pomade, your base product, which must be a heavy, waxy pomade. I'm using Dax Wibbon Groom, which I made a review on as my first video. You can go check it out. I'll leave a link below in the description. So just scoop it out. Get a reasonable size finger dab of the stuff. Rub it in. And because you have tonic in your hands and your hair, it should be easier to soften the pomade, break it down, and apply it. So just apply it to the hair. You can add just one more tiny finger scoop for your sides and back. And your sides are especially important in this matter because you just want to really keep them tight. Just like that into place. So 
So basically I won't use any more than two little finger dabs of heavy product in there. Really focus on your sides, that's super important right there. As usual, slick it all back. Every time you apply a new product, slick it back. Then, after you apply your base product, you need to add that shine, meaning you must have a top coat layer for your shine. So, there are two options. You can use either a tonic or a light hair dressing. But then, I'll give you a little note over here. Not all tonics provide shine. For example, Ruzel's Grooming Tonic does not provide much shine. A lot of the alcohol-based tonics out there do not provide much shine, except if it's something like Vitalis Hair Tonic. Most of the shiny tonics are oil-based ones like Vaseline, for example, but then again, not all oil-based tonics contain shine. Vaseline, however, does have a lot of shine. You can just put um, a couple more drops on your hair, but for the sake of this review, assuming that you don't have a very shiny ton tonic, I'll use a hair dressing wick here, and we'll be using Dax Short and Me today. Okay, so I'm back. I was opening the tin and my hands were really oily, so I couldn't really open the small tin, which is pretty ridiculous. So, scoop out your product. One finger dab will do, or two if you want it even shinier. Rub it in your hands, and when you apply it, don't run it through your hair, run it over your hair like this. Just over and not through. You don't want to soften your pomade even more. Add a smaller finger dab if you want to add any more. Add it to your sides. And, as usual, again, slick it all back. And now that we have everything, all the products we need, it's time to style. So, as usual, let us form our part. Just like this area back, wherever you want, like left or right would be okay. It depends on where your natural part is. As for me, personally, my natural part is on the left of my head, hence I'm doing it at the left of my head. So take one of these comb lines and push it away. For beginners, it'll be much easier if you use a wide tooth comb to slick your hair back so you can find your part even better. And sides, just like Cary Grant, slick it all back like that. Okay, so first approach. For people with naturally wavy hair, just like Cary Grant, it's a very, very simple hairstyle and you don't need to do much. All you need to do is just comb everything completely flat because Cary Grant had really flat hair. And then take this area and slick it all back. And for you wavy haired folks, you should have to wave at the front of your hair already, just like Cary Grant did. So you wouldn't really have to worry any more steps. So you should be done by then. For straighter hair folks, you can copy this method only if you want a straight looking, a straight haired looking finish for um, a, Cary Grant, a Cary Grant esque hair with straight hair and a straight hair kind of finish. But if you're not satisfied, if you want your hair to look just as wavy as Cary Grant's, then you have to make the front of your hair a little more wavy. And it actually is possible because we use our tonic for control. So for this, make a swirl like how you would with your pompadour. Sorry, I gotta move my camera a little bit so we can see the mirror much better. Swirl your hair just like how you would for a pompadour. Slick this area back. This um, swirl in a circular motion gives you foundations for your curl at the front. And then 
just like this to the side and then you take you go to the front of your hair and slick it down it must be flat but when you get to the middle go up and over so you have that curly look over there you, you can see it you can just repeat the results until you're pretty happy with it so swirl let me repeat that again swirl it sides to the back comb front until you go to the middle up and over go behind the curl and you should have that little curly look in the front of your hair like Cary Grant did over there so it's a pretty flat looking contour but a little wavy and that's how Cary Grant did it I hope you like this review. I'm sorry, I hope you like this tutorial. I keep saying review in my other videos, all my other videos are reviews, hence I get, I get used to saying that word. I hope you like this tutorial and I hope it actually teaches you something and, oh yeah, one more thing, I need to show out how my hair looks. Very flat, tight sides. You got those Hollywood waves going on, you see. time <sighs> okay so if you want your hair to be like Cary Grant the most important thing is actually the shine because he's notable for having really shiny hair therefore you cannot skip the part where you put your top coat and I hope this review why did I say review again tutorial that's the word tutorial so I hope this tutorial, this tutorial does teach you something and make sure you leave a like, you comment and you subscribe to my channel and if you want me to do any more styling tutorials in the future just drop a comment below in the comment section and if you have anything to say, what I should improve on and any questions you can just go ahead and ask me. So, till my next video.